we found some of Minecraft's biggest secrets, and today I'm gonna test them to see if they work. But if the last most viral one doesn't work, I'm gonna take this entire lemon and eat it. So this Minecraft chest actually got buffed in 1.18 to the point where they actually include a new item. So it's this item right here, and if you don't know what that is, we're gonna go see if we can find one ourselves. All right, so right down here, there should be a chest, all right? Don't wanna press that, that would ruin the whole video. And we're gonna see if the new potion's in here, the new buff, and we're gonna see if it's even like real. Oh, wow, that first one. Hold on, any others have it? No? No? No. Wow, okay, there it is. I don't know why that's in here. It doesn't even make sense. Why would that be in the basement of a desert? Who wants rotten flesh? Give me some fresh flesh. Now, this guy claims there's a way to actually make Enderman hide. Tearing off every Enderman with simply a splash of water. And then that's right. A splash potion of water apparently scares Enderman. So maybe this gives an actual use to splash potions of water. So we're going to do one test now with just one of them and see what happens. That looks promising. It looked like it damaged it somehow. Now what we're going to do is put like 5,000 of them inside of a hole here and see what happens. Essentially, we're making an Enderman torture chamber here to get revenge for all those of you that have died from them. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, they all left. Wow. Did they come back after you hit them? Okay, they do come back. Okay, all right. It's not the, it's not the perfect solution we thought it was. Excuse me, sir. And I don't know how much damage it does. Bruh. It's more of like an emergency. I, I don't think I don't think it's worth doing. All right, so guys, each one of these is getting crazier and crazier than the last. For our next one, there's new custom achievements. Fall from the top of the world to the bottom of the world the and survive. Top to the very bottom of the Whoa. Oh, yo, here's a sick spot. Look at this massive cave right here. This is an, a, an excellent... Oh my gosh, what the heck? This is gorgeous. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this might be the best looking area to do this test I've ever seen. All right, let's dig a hole down to the middle of the earth. Oh, it keeps going. Are you kidding me? Guys, Caves and Cliff update is just next level. I thought we would be already at the bottom. This is unreal. All right. Now our hole reaches the ground through a giant, beautiful lava chamber. And now all we have to do is go all the way up. <coughs> well, that sucks because that's sand. I got to go all the way back down there and break that sand now. This is bullcrap. And I'm now realizing I'm in creative mode and I may need to be in uh, survival for this to work. I'm going to have to water butt clutch it. And I got one shot and I have basically no health and I suck at the game. So to be honest with you, we're falling at a rapid rate. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh God, oh God, no. Oh, I did it, oh my gosh, I did it. I did it on my first try. I can't believe I just did that. And I got the achievement. Like the video, that was worthy of a like. I'm sweating. We're looking at one that says mushroom blocks are secretly overpowered. Could they be the secret to Minecraft progression? But yeah, anyway, this dude says in bedrock edition, you can cook them only in bedrock. So we're gonna try it in Java first and see, and that should be a pretty quick and easy test. Uh, another gold ore. I know this is a lot of your favorite ores and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, well, that seemingly has been possible. Now we're gonna try it in bedrock. Now I know bedrock players, y'all a little bit weird. So I'm gonna hit you with that deep slate copper ore. Probably someone out there is that's their favorite ore. Now we're gonna see if this works. All right, well, that's some bull crap. It does work, and that is completely unfair. Did somebody say Christmas? I don't know if it's passed yet because I'm recording this well in advance, but this one is a Christmas hack. We'll turn the snow cauldron into a water cauldron. You burn yourself and jump in a cauldron, obviously it turns into snow, which is pretty sick. I like snow. I like turning snow into water. I like eating snow. I like yellow. I'm just, I don't like yellow snow. It's weird. I don't like it. First, we're going to try a campfire on it and see if that does anything. Okay. Literally, there are hot coals at the bottom of this thing, and you're telling me that doesn't melt it. All right. A little bit weird. Let's try ourselves now. Okay, maybe we gotta do it in survival mode. Here we go. Wow, wow, it does work. Wow, that's very cool. Wow, very nice. I can't think of a single reason why you would want a powdered bucket of snow in here. I just, I don't, I don't understand the reason why you'd want it, but you can do it. So congratulations, Bedrock players. What has 474,000 views and is our next hack? This one right here, which is apparently the most evil thing Mojang has ever done before history and knowing it will ruin your lives. Infested stone now generates in all six new mountain biomes. My boy Blockfax said infested stone generates in mountain biomes now. Mount, nope, locate biome, nope, locate mount, mountain. I don't know what it's called. Okay, I really don't know, to be honest, if this is, uh, if this is gonna be it. So we're just gonna break a bunch of blocks. This might not even be a mountain, to be honest. Just break it all and see. Yo, is that surface emerald? Seems kind of rare. All right, test number one's coming back negative. This is a scientific way to test. Don't judge me. I promise this is the way to do it. Let's find another mountain. If there's ever a place for us to get a silverfish, my gut is screaming to me right now that I need to poop, but it's also saying there could be silverfish here. Hey, what's up, Creeper? Just looking for some silverfish, don't mind me. I see no silverfish. Did you know Minecraft also released a secret music disc? Look at this. The disc itself has some odd properties. Placing a comparator next to a jukebox playing it will emit a stronger signal than any other disc wow. in the game. So there's a disc called Other Side. Oh, here it is. This is the rare music disc by, by Lane Arena. By Lane Rainey. Lane Rainey. So we're going to first pop this in and give this a listen, see if there's any secrets into it as to why the signal would be stronger and why it'd be so rare. Let's hear what it sounds like. Whoa. Hold up. We got a freaking jazz band, trumpets, a little saxophone. <laughs> 
Whoa, what just happened? Holy crap, that just took me over. Yo, that is a vibe, folks. I think I realize why it's not in the game. Speaking of my favorite song in Minecraft, Bubbles. That was a Vsauce transition. I don't think it worked, but um, water particles now leave bubbles, apparently. This seems like a little underwhelming to be featured at this point in the video, considering they're supposed to be getting more and more cool. However, we will take a moment to take a look at it either way. Now, I always play with uh, particles turned off, just based on the fact that um, I always cheat and put night vision on, and it's annoying. Oh! 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 Wow. Wow. Okay, it works. You or someone you love suffer from getting destroyed by guardians in the ocean? Me too. So this one will save you from that pain, apparently. If it's an elder guardian, the axolotl will fight back, and if you help it kill the elder, then they will actually remove your mining fatigue effect. It's pretty cool. And oh! Let's go chest out the old axolotl power, huh? Prepare to meet your doom. Desert Tuelos, you're not in the desert. Are right, we going in survival mode now, folks? Axolotl spawning is maximum power. You can see if we can get ourselves a little mining fatigue here. Come on, give me some mining fatigue. You won't do it. Hey. All right, all right, all right, all right. Chill, 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 chill. I'm just joking. Chill, chill, chill. There's one of those water. Oh, there we go. Now we've got the mining fatigue. Ho, ho, holy crap. We got brand new Lumberfella glitch merch in lumberfam.com. Go get some right now. Now we got to see if these bad boys save us. It's freaking loud. Yo, y'all want to kill them a little quicker for me here? Come on, boys. Clean it up now. I need some healing. We need to go inside. This is a test. This is not working well. Oh, God. Look at this one. He's flipping away. Oh, he's dead. Oh, this poor thing. It's getting absolutely brutalized. I mean, to be honest with you guys, it didn't necessarily work for me. Not to say it's false. Now here we're being presented with a Minecraft secret so overpowered it could undo the fabric of Minecraft itself. This is the spyglass. But this is what happens when you press F1 and use the spyglass. Actually, I'm going to show you live because this one is so dangerous, it must be shown only once. Now, if you're like me, you don't even use a spyglass. But if you do, oh, that's hot. you might notice that there are these giant annoying black bars on the side. You might be wondering, Zachary, how do I get rid of them? You press F1 and it goes away. Literally, that's it. Look at this. Black bars vanish. You can get rid of it and get a much better zoom. In fact, I would uh, I would do that every time I use this. It even gets rid of the boring uh, overlay. Wow. Here's a secret trick to get mega looting in game. So this seems like a really effective strategy to be using on people. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is test this little setup here uh, on blocks. I wanna see if it gives you like extra blocks. I don't know if that's actually true. So I'm gonna put down like a diamond block. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't seem like it did. Still three. All right, let's try the sheep real quick. Here, big dog. Here, 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 here. One of these will hit you, I'm certain. Bullseye, direct hit. And that only gave us like one wool and one of these, so it clearly doesn't work with everything. Pull out raid, they have a chance to begin sweating. They'll shake a little bit and emit some water particles above their head. So I didn't know if that was a thing. I've never heard of villagers sweating. Give ourselves bad omen and see if, uh, see if y'all start sweating. Oh, oh, I think I saw it. There, this one's sweating. This is a sweater. We got a freaking leaky. We got a leaky one. This one's the weak one of the group. Let's see what he does. This one's a little baby. Hey, what's up, you little sweater? What's up, you little loser? Huh? You gonna sweat because you're getting raided? Is that what you're gonna do? I bullied him. I think I shouldn't have done that. But um, yeah, they, they do sweat. That's very fascinating. All right, guys, this is our last one before the ultimate test to see if I've got to eat a lemon, the entire lemon. I would really like to not do that. I hope the last one works. Well, you'll find the texture of the bucket in your inventory actually drops down by one pixel. So you're telling me the bucket changes? Let's get our buckets here and see if these two bad boys work. So we're gonna do one bucket. We've got maximum GUI scale here, and we're able to to really clearly investigate the bucket differential. Let's put them side by side. It seems like the axolotl has moved down even farther. This fish has moved down a little bit, right? No, that fish is the same. Look at that, look at that. When I click, it clearly is moving. Clearly, there is some maneuverability going on here. This looks like a pretty darn big mistake to me. I think it's time to own up to it, Mojang. I don't know about this one. All right, now for the big burrito. Big old Bahama Mama, as they say. Uh, this one is, uh, I hope it works. It says leads are connected to your back, not to your hand. So I really hope this thing works. Which looks something like this, and I could not tell you why. Okay, leads don't connect to your hand. Well, guys, uh, basically an entire lemon's on the line here. Um, so uh, let's, hope, let's hope that this actually connects correctly. You will be my victim today, pigs. All right, early on, feels like it's coming out of the hand. Let's see. Oh, it just kind of depends on the angle. Clearly, that's coming through my back, isn't it? Oh, that's disturbing. Yeah, no, look, it's it's definitely, even if you get the angle, it's connected to your body. This does not connect to your hand. Wow, guys, you know what that means? I don't got to eat the entire lemon today, but I'll give it a little lick just because I'm going to do it because I know y'all been waiting for this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.